I have a grandson who loves playing with bubbles. So I was pretty excited when I came across this recipe for making your own bubbles at home. Most of the things you need to make this you probably already have at your house. The one thing that you might not have is this. That's glycerin. And you can find that in most pharmacies. I found this at the Walmart pharmacy near me. It was on the aisle where they had band-aids and bug bite treatments and stuff like that. This bottle costs $3.88 for six ounces, but that will go a long way when you're making bubbles. It doesn't take a whole lot of this to make a batch, so you can do a lot with this one bottle. And besides the glycerin, all you need is Dawn Ultra or some other similar dishwashing liquid. If it's Ultra, it actually takes twice the amount that you normally would of the glycerin. You need a container to store it in. This one is a two quart size, which that'll be enough for what we're making. You need water. Distilled water is better, but if you don't have it, just tap water will work. And then some measuring containers. This one's a cup, and I'm using this one to measure a tablespoon. So, let's get started. To our container, we're gonna measure six cups of water into it. And then you add one cup of your dishwashing liquid. And when you're not making bubbles with it, it's great for washing dishes, so can't beat it. And just stir it slowly. You don't want to make a whole bunch of bubbles already. Save that for the kids. And now I'm going to add the glycerin. If you're just using regular dishwashing liquid, just use one tablespoon. If you're using Ultra, like I am, it says to use two tablespoons. You can substitute a quarter cup of corn syrup if you want to. And continue stirring slowly. And once it's all mixed up, you have your finished solution. It only takes three ingredients, water, glycerin, and dishwashing liquid, and you're set. And you can use it immediately if you want to try it out, but it works better, you get better bubbles if you let it sit overnight. So I'm gonna do that and see what results we do get. But that's easy and simple to make. There it is, it looks pretty good. We're gonna try out our solution with a few different kinds of bubble blowers or wands. Some of those we made or bought or just had laying around the house. This is a simple one. It's just the top of a bottle of water and you cut that off and dip this end in the bubble solution, blow through here and you can get some bubbles out of that. Here are some cookie cutters of different shapes that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna dip the bottom of that in the bubble solution and wave it through the air or blow through it and try to make bubbles with that. Some of this is gonna be trial and error, especially the different shapes. Not sure how a heart or a star or some of that will work. We're going to try this spatula. Any kitchen utensil with some holes in it or lines in it might work, so we're gonna see if that does. This is an old wand we had laying around from another bottle of bubbles. Of course, that'll work. Made this one from an old wire coat hanger. We had one wire coat hanger left around the house for some reason. So bent that one into a shape that might work. Might have to put a little piece of tape around that to protect the fingers of small children, like some duct tape, but we'll see if that works. And use some pipe cleaners to bend into these shapes to try to see if that works. Looks like fun, we've got lots of bubble blowers to try. We're gonna see if our bubbles work in this bubble machine. Oh, do you want to turn it on? Mm -hmm. Let it go for a minute. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Good, it's making bubbles. Can you get them? Can you pop them? Can you catch them? Yeah, if you can catch them. Now we're going to try some of our bubble wands. Put it in there and shake it. Shake it. Bubbles. You blew one. Love more. Yeah. Pipe cleaners work pretty good. You just put it there and pull it through the air, and you can get a big, big bubble. It stays together a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Over here, come on. Watch. Watch. Yeah, big bubble. Did you catch him? Yeah. 
Ah, oh, he popped it. Good one. He's gonna try the circle. You blow. Oh, did we lose it? Watch. Watch it make a big bubble. Big bubble. That, that didn't hold together. There's one. Every once in a while I'll make a big one. And we're going to see if the top of the bottle works. It does work. It takes a little practice. Most of the stuff worked pretty well. The cookie cutters didn't work real great for whatever reason. They do it a little bit. But it works in the bubble machine and it works with uh, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners work real good. And the bubbles last a long time and they're big that way. And you can make really big ones with a coat hanger. Look at that. Those are cool, Colin. Look at that. Really huge ones. Cohen's favorite. He just can't do them all himself very well yet. But he's just too. But he loves to watch it. So that's what counts. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Make your own bubbles and have a lot of fun. And it's really cheap and easy to do and good results. Bye.